Uh, next up, then, it's the Oaks. All three are old fillies, of course, over a mile and a half here at Epsom. And let's take a look at the field. Anna Troy at the top for Ball Roads. Classical concert for Jim Murray in Moon and Lover for David Robertson. Meridian Swell, Vinnie Gerard, Moulin and Soprano, Leon Van Rensburg, Mrs. Lazy, Matt Cooper, Mug Rancher, Craig Beckwith, Quashky Superstar, Dan Hughes, Ramathwell Guard, Derek Hinton, Regal Curtsy, Paul Rhodes, Saxondale, Darren Thompson, Swoop, Joshua Sutherland and Tintinara of Wallant for Padraig Hogan. So 13 then. And the Phillies Classic, and all installed and ready to go, and away they go. And it looks like Tintara Volante is going to be one of the first ones out, immediately joined there by Anne of Troy and Stable Companion, closest to us, Regal Curtsy, as they settle down then through the first couple of furlongs, and Regal Curtsy is the one who's going to take it up, but immediately passed on the inside by Stable Mate Anne of Troy. So the Rhodes pair then are going to put the pace to the race, it would seem, with Ramatwell Guard back in third, and then Swoopers come around the outside in fourth. Saxon does also close up. Mrs. Lazy is also in that little leading group as his classical concert. Looking towards the back, Quashki Superstar and the early leader Tintin Volant are the back pair at this stage. The Vinnie Gerard Gray Meridian Swell was probably the widest on the track, but now Mug Rancher has moved a little bit wider. But the leader, Anne of Troy, has opened up by four lengths then. Already through the first half mile in the Oaks and uh, passing the mile point, and Anne of Troy is in the lead trying to give. Paul Rhodes, yet another British classic. Regal Curtsy is back in second. Ramatwell Guard is third. Then comes Saxondale, fourth. Swoops after that one. Then Classical Concert. Meridian Swell is next. Mrs. Lazy is trapped on the road. It's going to need a little bit of running room. Quashki Super starts looking for some racing room as well. But it's still Anne of Troy who's got a clear lead and is away from any danger and scrimmaging at the moment. The one that's struggling out the back is Tintinara Valant. Doesn't appear to be handling the track, but it's Anne of Troy who's three or four clear of Regal Curtsy. In second, Saxondale and Swoop are now starting to make a move, particularly Swoop who's swooping through into second and is coming to join Anna of Troy. But Anna of Troy responds and retains a two length lead. Swoop is in second, Regal Kurtz is third, then Saxondale fourth, Ramatwell Guard is next. Classical concert being asked to quicken, so to Meridian Swell on the outside. Mulan Soprano is now trying to come through. Quashki Superstar's got a run, but it's Anna of Troy who leads with three furlongs to go from Stable Companion. Regal Kurtz in second, then Swoop. They're beginning to bunch behind. Saxon down is there. Classical Swoop Milan Soprano is still trying to run on. And it's Anna of Troy, who's still too clear past the two pole from Regal Curtsy in second. Then comes Swoop, Rama 12 guard running a big race. Then comes Classical Concert, still trying to get into it inside the final furlong and a quarter. Then now and Anna of Troy hits the rising ground. It's still in the lead. Regal Curtsy is beginning to close though. The road pair are one, two. The rest of them are beginning to close on them. It's Anna of Troy and Regal Curtsy coming through now. It's Swoop, and it's got to be close. They get to the line. It's mighty close as they go towards the line now. And Swoop, quite a superstar from nowhere. And. Wow, that was pretty tight. The poor Rhodes bear getting run out of it, but Quashki Superstar might have got through to take it. Dan Hughes had a really good run in the Classics over the last few seasons. And he's taken another one. Quishki Superstar got a dream run through in the end. Dan Hughes takes it. Swoop for Joshua Sutherland second. Saxondale for Darren Thompson's run a big race in third. Classical Concert Jim Murray was fourth. And Meridian Swell for Vinnie Gerrard was fifth.